Hi guys, look at this question. The question is 3 to the power m minus 2 to the power m is equal to 65 and we have to find the value of m. Let's see how do we proceed in this question. First of all, just multiply and divide the exponent by 2 in both the numbers. Now, as you know that a to the power m whole to the power n can be written as a to the power n whole to the power m. So we can write this as 3 to the power n upon 2 whole to the power square minus 2 to the power m upon 2 whole square is equals to 65. Now let's assume that 3 to the power m upon 2 is equals to a and 2 to the power m upon 2 is equals to b. Now substituting these assumptions we will write here a square minus b square is equals to 65. Now this is an algebraic identity which can be expanded as a plus b into a minus b is equals to 65. Now breaking this a plus 65 into uh, its prime factors that is 13 into 5 and 5 into 13. But here a plus b is greater than a minus b. So we reject this equality and work on this equality, right? So this implies that a plus b is equals to 13 and a minus b is equals to 5. Call this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now we can find the values of a and b by using the elimination method. And for this, uh, just add up both these two equations. So you get here 2a is equals to 18. Further, divide by 2 on both sides. This 2, this 2 gets cancelled. So we have a is equals to 9. Now, putting this value of a in equation number 1, that is a plus b is equals to 13. Put a 9 here. So you get b is equals to 13 minus 9 or you can say b is equals to 4. Now we have to find m. For evaluating m, as we assume that 3 to the power m upon 2 is equals to a which is equals to 9. Now this implies you can write this as 3 of raised to the power m upon 2 and 9 can be written as 3 square. We have the same basis. So just equate their exponents. Now by cross multiplica you get m is equals to 4. Similarly we can find m from us. Since 2 up to the power m upon 2 is equals to b which is equals to 4. So we can say 2 to the power m upon 2 is equals to 2 square. Same basis. So just equate their exponents. So again we get m is equals to 4. Now let's verify. For verification, put the values that is 3 to the power m minus 2 to the power m is equals to 65. So how do how we are going to verify it? 3 to the power 4 minus 2 to the power 4. We are going to check whether it is equal to 65 or not. This is 81. And this is 16. So here we get 65, which is equals to 65. Now this, this implies that m has the value 4. And here we are done.